The Devil Made Me Do It is a mixed documentary, including narration, observation, archive footage and interviews. It has several themes running throughout it, a main one being media effects and the influence of the media. Other themes that run through the documentary are crime and youth, and there are also themes that generate conflict as they are binary oppositions, such as religion versus the devil and good versus evil. The narrative structure of The Devil Made Me Do It means it is an open documentary. This means that by the end of the documentary, not everything is closed or has an answer to it. The documentary is also single-stranded, as all themes link together to create one storyline. It is also a non-linear narrative, that is, it is not all shown in chronological order, because of things such as archive footage. The interviews throughout The Devil Made Me Do It are mostly conventional, with close-up or medium close-up shots and in line with the rule of thirds. The interviewees are also not speaking with direct mode of address. There are several other camera shots used throughout the documentary, these being a low-angle shot of Manson showing his power, crane shots of his fans at concerts to show his influence over them, and handheld shots that make it more realistic for the audience as there was more freedom for filming. There is also observational footage that illustrates and gives evidence to the audience. The mise-en-scene within the documentary shows Marilyn Manson with half of his face in darkness. This is done through the lighting and it signifies he has two sides to him, good and evil. However, at the same time, the setting of the cloakroom during his interview normalises Manson and makes him more relatable. There is a lot of narration throughout the documentary that gives the audience an understanding of what is going on. It also highlights key elements of the exposition. The voiceover is done by an English male with a standard accent. This is conventional as it gives a sense of authority and knowledge. There is music played throughout the documentary, both in diegetic and non-diegetic sound forms, and sound effects added in for the stabbing and a heartbeat which highlights the inhumanity of the situation. Also, as the documentary takes place in Italy, translation for the interviewees is required. Therefore, the volume of the interviewees' voices is lowered and translation is added over the top. The editing in the documentary keeps the pace steady throughout the majority of the scenes, and there is a montage to introduce the audience to the situation and to engage them throughout. Cutaways are also used to provide visual evidence within interviews and make it more interesting for the audience. There is a lot of archive footage included in the documentary through things such as Manson's music videos, Please interviews, chat show clips and photographs. Finally, the graphics used in the documentary give the audience an understanding through subtitles and text explaining details fully.